Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday. This is Dolores Reset Love. I'm on here this morning. As you guys can see, your girl is back to work, okay? <laughs> I'm back to work. Look, I won't complain either. I really won't complain because um, I've had my time off. I've had my chance to rest. So um, I'm just grateful, you know, just to still even be, you know, employed and, um, you know, just have to count your blessings, um, add up those little things because sometimes it really is just the little things Um and I'm grateful on this morning and I just got on just so I can encourage you just a little bit, you know, just a little bit. Sometimes we need just a little bit of encouragement, especially as we're starting our day, especially as we're going into another week. Um, Man, we are almost at the end of the year. Like, I don't know if, if y'all can really just see how fast this year has gone by. Like, it's, it's, it's flying past us, you know. Um, so I really hope and pray that whatever it is that you've been um, looking to do and working on, I hope and pray that you are able to accomplish some of those things. Um, and just as it comes to just just encouraging you guys and motivating you guys i want you to know that we're going to face challenges we're going to face opposition we're going to face trials we're going to face tribulations we're going to face troubles all of that stuff conflicts like we're going to face it we're going to experience it but it doesn't mean that we have to be defeated it doesn't mean that we have to succumb to to certain pressures or whatever the case whatever the case may be for you right here in your life with where you are right now. Um, I just want you guys to know that one thing my pastor said and my mom followed up and she reiterated it this morning on her prayer line is that we have to know that God is with us. Like we are able to trust God. We are able to trust him. We have to trust him because he is with us through it all. Whatever we have to go through, whatever we have to encounter, God is with us. And if we can't believe anything else, if we can't hold fast to anything else, sometimes for me, like, I, I mean, I go through different things. I, I face my challenges. You know, I have my own share of things that I have to work through and navigate through and different things like that. But one thing that I know, one thing that I know for sure that is true and has always been true is that God has been with me. Even during times where I thought that he wasn't with me, you know, he was still right there. He was still right there, right there in the midst of it. He was still with me. So I want to encourage you guys that God is with you. He is with us. He is with us. And in Psalms 91, I think it's like verse 16, it talks about just a little bit, I'm paraphrasing, but it talks about how those who love God, it says how because we love him, we can call on him. And when we call on him, it says that he will answer us and that he will deliver us from our troubles. And we have to know that to be true. Like we, we ha we're going to have these things, <laughs> like we're going to face them, but we have to know that we have somebody that will always be with us. Number one, who is with us. We have to know that if we call on him, if we invite him into the situation, into whatever it is, that he will answer us and that he will deliver us. If we ask him to, he will deliver us. Um, so we just have to be encouraged. We just have to be encouraged. I don't care what's going on. I don't care what people say. I don't care what people think. They can think what they want to think. They can say what they want to say. But we have to trust and rely on whatever it is that God is saying for us and to us right here, right now, in this season, in this moment. Because he's speaking. God is always speaking. He is speaking. And we just have to slow down enough to hear him. We have to put ourselves in a position so that we can really, really hear him. When we got all this other stuff going on, all we do is watch Netflix the whole day. <laughs> don't even, you know, prayer don't even cross our mind. Or, you know, we don't take that time to just get in the word of God. All we, we're so, so busy trying to spend time and do things with everybody else. And then we leave God on a back burner. We got to make time for God, like put him first and just position ourselves to truly truly hear from him because he's speaking and he wants to speak to us he wants to spend time with us um and you just got to know it like he does he does he's with us 
He's with us. He's always with us. But when it comes to us being intentional about dedicating a certain, you know, like time to him, you know, certain moments for him, like that stuff, like he looks, he looks at that. He looks at it. He honors it. Um, so I just would encourage you guys to remember that God is with us, that we can trust him and that we can call on him because he promised to answer us. He promised that he will be with us in trouble, that he will deliver us. That's it's, it's, it's not just something that he said. It's a promise. And anything that God says, we can take it to the bank. We can cash that out. Other people, they tell us all this stuff. <laughs> and we we be so excited, you know, like, oh, snaps, this, really, you know. But when it comes to God, like, he says it. And we can literally... We can literally hold him to it. You know, other people, we may not be able to hold them to it because <laughs> they might say it and don't follow through, you know, like it, we can be disappointed, but not with God. Like he will never disappoint and he might not do something the way that we want him to or exactly when we want him to or how we think he should, but he is going to do whatever is best on our behalf that will work in our favor and you know, he will be glorified out of it and you will see the blessing in it. You will see the blessing in it. And that's just where we have to, that's where we need to get to a place where we are, you know, just seeking his will above everything else because nothing else matters. If we don't get to a point where it's like, God, your will, not my own will, not what I want to do. And it's who Jesus, Lord knows we want to do some things my God, but we have to really see God's will over our own will, you know, and I truly believe just like the, the scripture says, if we seek him first, if we seek his kingdom, that everything else will fall in place. Everything else will come into his divine alignment. It just will. It just will. And it's a promise like he promised us, you know, and we just have to trust him. We have to trust him. And that's what, you know, my pastor was saying yesterday. We have to trust God. And then she even went further to say we have to trust God more. We have to trust God more. So we might feel like, oh, well, we trust him to pay this light bill. But you do you trust him to deliver you from drugs? Do you trust him to deliver you from addiction or, or whatever? Do you trust him to deliver you from, you know, perversion? Like, do you trust him to deliver you from whatever it is that you need to be delivered and saved from? You know, like, do we trust him more? We have to start trusting God more. And that's what I, man, y'all, y'all just don't know like that. Oh, y'all know I got to still look at this clock because <laughs> I'm back to work now, you know. But we have to get to a point where we can really trust God more. And I want to trust him more. I want to know him more. I want to love him more. I want to, to sacrifice more of a me to him, more of my life, every area. I don't want to have certain things that's off limit to God. Like, who, how, how, how? I don't get it. How can we give God this part of our life? We'll give him this part. We'll give him our finances. We'll give him our family. We'll give him our education. But when it comes to us, when it comes to the deepest part of us, when it comes to our minds, when it comes to our bodies, when it comes to um, just, just anything, like how? How could we not give it to God? Like I want God to have every everything in my life. That's just my desire. Like I do, that's just what I want. I don't want to do my own thing. I already learned that my way ain't, ain't the brightest way, okay? I done learned that. It's like when you know better, just do better, you know? Um, but yes, God, that's my encouragement, y'all, is that God is with us. We can trust him because he will answer, will deliver us. Like he, he, he's there, he's there, he's with us. You don't get nothing else out of it. Regardless of what it is that you're dealing with, what you will deal with, he is with us. I love you guys. Have a wonderful week. Talk to you later. Bye.